introducing my fake lip piercing. This is a lie. Which I'll also show you guys how I did this at the end of the video, but that is not what this video is about. Because if I actually got my lip pierced, I am 99.9% .9 sure that my grandma would burst into tears because I used to have an industrial pierce, the bar that like goes across your ear. And when I came home, she cried. Which was a funny moment, not that my grandma was judgmental because she's not, she just was not fond of a giant silver bar going through my ear. Well actually the piercer told me that my ears were too small to get it done and I was like, I want it done anyways. Probably should have listened to him. Moving on. Good evening. Today is the day to celebrate what has finally happened to me that I've been wanting to happen to me for years in my life. And that is that one day when Urban Decay is celebrating something, coming out with vaults, something of that nature, they would send something to me. It has finally happened. It's not a vault but it is their 20 year anniversary box palette happiness. Thanks Urban Decay! And then here is the actual palette! Which obviously has a ton of different colors. They also sent this Smith and Mara and it's jewelry inside. And it's got the two X's on it for their 20 year anniversary. Let me get it out of the bag. Hopefully you will be able to see it okay with the two Roman numerals in the middle. Thank you, Urban Decay. All the products that you see are listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my second YouTube channel, which you are on. You can subscribe right here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Now, this is not a full face tutorial. I already put my foundation on. There's no other reason for it other than I already put my foundation on. And I do have lighter green color contacts in. My eyes are naturally green, but I like just got the lighter green ones. I like them. Just so you guys know, before you guys are like, oh my God, your eyes are so beautiful. Thank you, they're fake. I'm starting off by applying the Urban Decay Eden Primer, which I use all the time. And what I like about this primer, like I always say, is that it kind of gives a little bit of coverage while you are applying it. I'm then going to be taking Urban Decay's Brow Beater Pencil in the color Taupe. This is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils, reason being because it's really not that dark. And I myself have always liked my eyebrows thin. If you'd like to do them thicker, Please feel free. Diving on into the palette, I'm going to immediately use Anonymous. And I'm just gonna use that color to highlight underneath my brow, as well as on the inner corner of my eye. Now I already know that I wanted to have like a darker red lid and then kind of fade out to like gold-y looking. So I'm gonna be going in with Moonflower next. And I'm just going to apply this in my crease. I'm then gonna go in with the color Smog in just case you guys are like looking at your palette like, where is this color? The palette is upside down right now. And I'm also going to apply this in my crease, but very close to my crease. I'm not gonna blend this color up a lot. Next, I'm going to be going in with the color Gash, which is the red color, and I'm just going to pat this onto my lid. And I'm also going to blend it into my crease, mixing it with the other colors from earlier. I'm then going to go ahead and apply a little bit of smog underneath my eyes just to give it more of a grungy type look. To darken up the corners a little bit, I'm going to be going in with Oil Slick, which is the only black in the palette. And I'm going to be taking a second brush to line it up to get that cat eye type shape and just adding this black to the corner. To line the inside of my eyes, I'm going to be using their Waterline Pencil in the color Legend. And whenever I'm doing my usual grungy rocker type looks, I always like to smudge out the bottom, make it look messy, like you've been in the sun for eight hours, or like you're a rock star. Whichever one comes first. And to give myself my signature cat eye eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Night Owl eyeliner, which is my line of eyeliner. I will put it in the description below. I haven't been doing my wings very big lately, but usually I do do them big. I don't know why I haven't been doing them big lately. It probably doesn't need an explanation, but there it is. So we're not messing around today. Little bit of mascara. And you know what? It's totally up to you if you want to wear fake eyelashes or not, but really when you're wearing your eyeliner like this, fake lashes are always going to help the liner. For blush, I'm going to be going in my favorite palette for blush now ever, which is the Gwen Stefani blush palette. I'm going to be using the color Hush. Hush. This one. Now for lips, I don't normally wear lip color or I'll wear something like really nude, but I'm gonna just go, I'm just gonna go for it. And let's first try going for it with 1993. I might switch to black. We shall see. It looks okay. I think I want it darker. Please, as an added bonus, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I used to do a long time ago 
long time ago in high school. If you want to add to this look and be awesome without actually being awesome. I used to want my lip pierced so bad. You guys know how you see like the fake septum rings on like Instagram and everything and I'm like people are actually buying this. All you need is like a little hoop cartilage earring and just make sure it's tight enough. Ta-da! And you can really put it wherever you want. Just make sure you don't swallow it. Ta-da!